So it was a disappointing result against Sheffield United on Saturday. What's the mood been like in, in the camp since, since that game? Well, the mood's been the same. It's been great. Um, obviously disappointed again. Um, con- uh, obviously conceding three goals and losing the, losing the game at home, um, which is something we need to improve on. Um, but we're working hard still. And then, like I said, the, mood, the mood's been good. Um, we're keeping the, the spirits high and working hard to try and put things right. There are some positives to take from the from the last 15 minutes, in particular from that game. Obviously, Keane getting his goal and creating quite a few opportunities after that as well. Yeah, I think there's a lot of positives to take from the whole game, really. Um, but also, obviously, we're not naive to, enough to think that there's not a, a lot of negatives as well. So, um, we've been working on both sides of the game and um, hopefully... Come Saturday, we've, we've, we've put the negatives to right and we come out on the positive end of a result. Has it been beneficial for you and the rest of the players this week to have, have no midweek game, just to give you a few more days to kind of work on things on the, on the training field? Um, I, d- I don't really know, really. Um, works both ways. Um, the next game is always the next focus and sometimes it's best to have it straight away and sometimes it's best to have a bit of work on the training field. So... Sometimes it doesn't really matter, really. It just depends how the fixtures are, really, and you know, you roll with the schedule. We just heard from the from the gaffer there talking about there are still a few knocks in, in the squad, but th- does that just provide other players the opportunity to, to step up and impress in, in the starting lineup? Yeah, of course. Um, I think there's there's places up for grabs, and uh, I think almost everyone's had an opportunity to play. Um, just a couple who maybe haven't, who maybe feel like they should, and. They keep working hard and they might get an opportunity but I think a majority of the majority of us have, have had a chance chance to play and try and improve the results and it's not really happened at the minute and the manager's still obviously got to pick a team to try and get a result on Saturday. And for yourself personally how much have you enjoyed being back in the, in the team for the last two games? Yeah, I've, I've loved it. Um, I, I, just, I, love, I love getting picked and I want to be picked for 46 games a season, not 44. Um, so obviously, while I was disappointed, I respected the manager's decision and got me a down work dad and got myself back on the team and hopefully I don't come out of it now, but that's down to me, my performances and also the team's results. So let's see. And looking ahead to Saturday, obviously Stoke City away from home. What are you expecting from them? Um, I think they've had a pretty decent decent start. Uh, I'm not sure if they've got a few injuries. Um, I think Nick Powell plays yesterday. He's obviously the main player who scores a lot of goals. He's got a lot of quality and a good, uh, good uh, resume. <clears throat> and obviously they've got a lot of other good quality players. But there's nothing to be frightened of. Um, we've seen the videos. We know what they're all about. Um, three at the back. Um, like I said, they've got a few injuries, so I don't really know the personnel that's going to be playing. But I know they've got a deep squad and... So another whoever's going to come in is going to be a good player but there's nothing to be fighting about if we do our jobs and there's no reason why we can't get a result Has there been anything in particular the team has been working on in training in preparation for this game? Like I say we've just, we've just been working on both sides of the game defending um, and, and and attacking um, because obviously we need to get better at both um, we're conceding goals and not scoring too many but we keep working hard and keep listening to the coaches and the, the staff I'm sure it'll um, turn around we kept two clean sheets back to back a few weeks ago against Bournemouth and Swansea is that something that the players are looking to sort of get back to that defensive solidity yeah that's just always the groundwork of um, of where you want to be start obviously you start the match at 0-0 that's where you want to be at the, at the end but obviously with the score being 1 or 2 0 or your thing but it's the it's the foundations what you build on um, and we did that two games ago so hopefully Hopefully we can get back to the clean sheets because they give us the, the confidence to and the confidence to attacking players to go and try and score some goals. And if we can keep clean sheets, we will win a lot more matches. And with two home games coming up after this game, how important is it to, to have a good performance on Saturday to give you something to build on going to do two games before the international break? Yeah, just the next game is just massively important. Um, being very disappointed with the results. Um, not so the performances, but the results in the however many, I think it's seven games. Um, there's only a couple of games out of them where you probably say, yeah, fair enough, probably didn't deserve the three points or at least get a point. Um, 
but that hasn't. Um, so hopefully, we're just putting up, looking forward to the next game. We're not looking forward to next Tuesday, the home games, nothing like that. It's just literally the next game. Let's get a result, result and put an end to this little run that we're, it's not going so well for us.